Okay, everyone, we're here for battle number three. This time, I'm bringing a special and physical wall cradle this battle, um, alongside Blaziken and Gyarados again. You see that my opponent, Red, I believe he was in the 1400s and I was in the 1520s, 30s, somewhere around there, so I was thinking, you know what? We'll have kind of an easy match here, uh, but you know what? This opponent here is actually bringing a Shigunja, which is the only Shigunja that I fought in this whole entire tournament. So I thought that was interesting. We also have to be careful of Malak as well, because Malak could be very bulky. But you never know, he might be offensive. And then... We have Altaria as well. So we'll see how this battle goes. I actually finished with a uh, 16 and 14. That's the total that I got. So I guess I got more wins than losses. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the positive thing about this tournament is to, you know, get more wins than losses. Anyway, so let's begin the match here. I begin with my Cradley. I'm probably the only person in this tournament who brought Cragley. Uh, yeah, Cragley is nothing to mess around with. I'm not really sure why he protected on the first turn there. I wanted to confuse him because if he had Focus Sash, then he would be, he would probably be uh, taken down because if you hit yourself in confusion, you're automatically locked out, right? I believe so. So not knowing or not wanting to get knocked out from the confusion, he switches out and goes into his Altaria, but I go for the Ancient Power. Just in case if he didn't hit himself, I would take care of that myself. Um, but I do get Toxic out of all that, so that's kind of unfortunate. I do not have any recovery moves on this Cradley set. So here, my opponent has a Mega Altaria, which is like, ah, oh, that's unfortunate because now I cannot hit it with the Ancient Power. It would not do very much. It's not very effective. I don't believe that's going to be worth it going for that move. So, you know what? We're going to go for the Stealth Rock and hopefully we can damage the Malik some or we can force a switch out. Or something. I'm not really sure what, but we'll figure it out. Here, he goes for Fire Blast. I know I can take that. Um, and then I'm just going to go for that Ancient Power. If you saw from the first Ancient Power that I went for, I got the Attack Boost. I never ever get that. But at the same time, it's like, you shouldn't really rely on that. But fortunately, I do get it. And that's fine with me. Now, there's a problem here with this Altaria. It's, it's just that he's going for Roost over and over. I'm like, you know what? We're going to have to get a couple of critical hits. Because I know his strategy. He's trying to wear me down with the toxic damage. And it's working out okay right here for my opponent. Because he's going to knock me out. So we need to figure out a plan with this Altaria. I did bring Gyarados, it has Ice Fang, if you remember from the last battle that I posted, it was me going for Ice Fang on the Lantern, I got the Freeze Hats. But you know what, we're going to go for Dragon Dance because I would not outspeed it, but after this turn, I will outspeed and I will hopefully lock out Altaria, and we do! Uh, this particular Gyarados is carrying the Focus Sash with the Dragon Dance strategy. So it's working out in my battles for sure. And it's working out in this battle, I guess. Because we're able to knock out the Altaria and we get a lot of damage onto the Malak. 
He goes for Dragon Pulse, and I take that really well. Nicely done, Gyarados. Um, I didn't EV train this Gyarados in special defense whatsoever. Uh, it's a mass attack, mass speed build. Um, I somehow did not take out Melodic on the next attack. I'm not really sure. It's probably min max damage rolls. But we can try to take it out with my last remaining Pokemon, which is Blaziken. I'm going to go Mega and take him out with a Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is that amazing move that will hopefully get a critical hit at times, but I'm not going to rely on that. At that level of HP, the Belotic is going down. So that leaves with one more Pokemon from my opponent's side. Let's see what it is. It's Shigunja. Um, and he's going to be kicking down because I laid down no stuff off. So that's the end of that battle right there. So thank you, Red, for that match. The last battle is coming up later this week. And be on the lookout for that if you enjoy this video. Like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.